In Minecraft, people make a lot of industrial farm like this. And this farm consists of efficient resources such as sheep farm, dripstone farm, moss farm, cactus farm, and so on and so forth. As a person like myself, I personally like industrial farm because they produce a lot of resources. And I know the same thing can be said such as creeper farm and mob farm and any of the resources that can uh, drop in bulk resources. It's always satisfying to see them drop a huge amount of resources. But overall, in my opinion, industrial farm seems a little bit of overrated and boring. Now, I'm not saying having an industrial farm is a bad idea. I'm simply just saying that having an industrial farm is overall just boring to look at. One is efficient. Having an efficient farm doesn't mean that you can look at a beautiful places. And so in this video, we are going to build ourselves, well, somewhat of an efficient farm, but entertaining to watch as well. And so, how would that say? We're gonna build ourselves a sheep farm. That's right. We are going to build ourselves a really, really farm sheep farm. I believe the design that I'm about to build for you guys is going to be really simple. So, in fact, I am going to do this as a tutorial so you guys can follow this tutorial and build it in your survival world as well. Hi, sheep. And so, the first step of building a sheep farm is to find a flat, really big flat land because the sheep farm that we are about to build is rather big. And so find a flat plains biome like this and then we're gonna start digging from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. So leave 8 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then dig another down 8 over here just like this 7 blocks on the first layer and 8 blocks on the second layer just like this now the next step is you're gonna need to do the same thing over on the fourth side right over here as well just like this take a look at this so now we've got four module right over here and if you guys want to look closer you're gonna need to leave a gap in between the corners before you they are then this module so yeah make sure it is you gotta leave a gap over here and then take the next module over here so the next time what i'm gonna need to do now is to dig this down by you're gonna need to dig this down all the way down to three block down like this on all four sides of this thing over here. If you're building this with me, your farm should look like this right now. So now on each of this side, there is a hole that goes down to three block just like this one, two, three. And then yeah, now having that say, the next thing that you need for this farm is it consists of five things that is on my inventories. The observer, or no blocks, dispenser, string, and just any of the building blocks that you're gonna design this farm later on. And so, what you're gonna need to do now is to dig this out right over here. This is where you're gonna put your dispenser on this side over here. And you're gonna need to leave the corner out like this. I'll explain why in the moment. But yeah, after that, you're gonna need to place the observer facing this way. And then right after that, once you're done with this, place the knob block down where the, uh, the dispenser is next to, just like this. And then finally, place the wooden plank or just any blocks on the top of it. Is. Now don't forget, this thing won't activate if you don't put any string just like this. And now you can see, so when, whenever we, uh, with any mobs they come across here, then yeah, it will this uh, trigger this dispenser down here just like this and do the same thing on the three other side as well there you go now your farm should look just like this there's a square on the top using the uh, the plank over here and then observe on all four side and as well as dispenser and string to trigger the uh, redstone so yeah now that you have this thing next thing that you need to do is to come down here on one of the side the two block down and then three block just like this and then you need to do this 
like go all the way to the middle right over here and then you're gonna need to come up here dig four blocks down just like this this is going to be the middle and then you're gonna need to do the same thing on all five sides just like this now your farm will have four different tunnels right over here and the next thing that you're gonna need to do is take this few items right over here in my inventories you're gonna need some piston stone buttons rails minecraft hopper hopper any of the walls and then torches just in case if you need to light up some stuff so what you're gonna need to do now is to take four places right over here this is going to be where your wall is but don't place a wall yet because what you're gonna need to do first uh what okay okay there's some glitches over here let me just move out of the way and then there you go now we can see okay so what you're gonna need to do now is to take out this area over here connect all of this together this is going to be where you will collect all of the wools later on so now what you're gonna need to do is depending on which direction that you want to collect your system I say I'm gonna pick down this one to, to collect the, the items I'm gonna face all of the hopper from this side so any of the items that you collect must go this way and then towards this area over here just like this so now once you have all four hoppers laid out on each side over here then what you're gonna need to do is to place some minecraft rail on four side of here place two minecraft hopper right over here and then break these two rails you must break this two rail because what you're gonna need to do now is to place stone walls on this two side over here but first you're gonna need to place some piston then stone walls right over here pig you're gonna get squash and then finally put the down the button and then press the piston so that the wall will go into the hopper minecart just like this and then finally you can just close this up repair the damage that you've done so this is how you should look like just like this and then do the same thing on the other side over here as well oh and before i forget make sure if you're doing a sorting system, make sure to connect this to hopper into one just like this so that any of the items from this side will be sent towards in one direction. I'll explain why in the moment, but then you're gonna need to dig out the area over here later on. That doesn't matter because right now, what we're gonna need to do is to do the same thing over here on all of the other side. Hey, don't push. There you go. Now your farm should look just like this with all of the hopper minecart over here on top of the walls so that if any of the items that came down here would be suck, get sucked into the hopper. Now the next step that you're gonna need to do is pick you are banging very annoying. You didn't see that. This is going to be your next step. You're gonna need these five items over here, which is sign, soul sand, glass, water bucket, and kelp. This is going to help you in doing the next thing, which is building up an elevator all the way up here. So, what you're gonna need to do now is to play four soul sand right over here. You could, you only need four, and then you can just get rid of the soul sand because you don't need this anymore. And then after that, put four signs on here and the same thing with the rest on all sides like the so just like this and before you place down any waters build out a tunnel i mean uh, an elevator just like this high enough one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten blocks high just like here at this level just like this now before you put the water down what you're gonna need to do now is to put one, two, three, one, two, three on all of the same side over here. So you should have one, two, three, and four blocks long, and just like this. And then put a corner over here. This is going to be your bridge. And then finally, what you're gonna need to do is build this up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So 
and then after that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 just like this and then maybe the same thing on everything over here as well just like this so now your farm is going to look like this and then finally look this this is going to be a temporary hold, here, look, hold on here how about this we're going to use dirt so that it's easier for you guys to understand use that to temporarily block off the corner right over here on all four sides and then temporarily block off this area as well and then finally this is where you're going to put your water bucket over here on this side and then break the dirt below you and then this is where you're uh, gonna put some kelp if you don't have a lot of water bucket then you can use some uh, kelp and bone meal of them all the way top over here then once you have done this just break off all of the kelp and then think across everything here should be all bubble elevator just like this there you go and now before you break anything of this, we need to make a funnel and everything else, but we have we are not done yet because there are some other stuff we need to do. First thing first, you're gonna need this five thing over here. So you're gonna need any of the leaves, it doesn't matter which one, and then some trapdoor, it doesn't matter which one, water bucket, any blocks, and then you must also have some glass for And I'll explain why in the moment. You're gonna need to break off this area on the edges. And then place some grass block on the corner just like this and then finally you're gonna need to place two or three block high of lead this is essentially because you're gonna need grass over here to spread outward towards this area because you're gonna need to you know as sheep Eating the grass, they're gonna turn into dirt. So it's going to be nice if you have some dirt on the corner to spread out the, the grass so it will always be replenished no matter what. And then yeah, you're gonna need to do the same thing on all four sides over here. There you go. So now, this is how your farm should look like with all of the uh, leaves on the corner and below that, there's going to be grass on all corner. So yeah, and the next step that you're going to need to do is to make sure to put trapdoors on all of the edges right over here facing just like this. You're going to need to leave a gap over here so that you're going to need to put water down over here. This is gonna be your, your activations for all of, like when you activate just like this and then it will flow all the way down to the center. This is gonna push not only the items but also the sheep. Once you have put up all of the water and trappers all set up together, the next step is doing some redstone. We're gonna need to wire all of this up so that you know I'm gonna need to set up the timing for pushing them down and yeah just pick any spot at the corner with the flat areas and then start building a eetle hopper claw I recommend you just put it as close as the corner right here maybe right, right over here I forgot the piston <laughs> now before you put down the redstone block, all you're gonna need to make sure is to put a stack and a half just like this. Actually, you should put the, the redstone block first, then put a stack and a half just like this. And now, just like that, this will be activated at all times unless if you put a lever down just like this then this will always activate or you, or you can say this will disable the, the the rest of the machine so it won't always activate no matter what so yeah if you disable this then this will uh, keep going so now the next thing that you're gonna need to, need to do is to set up uh it's a setup and a server facing this over here it doesn't matter which one you take and then once it trigger this thing the observer will detect it and then you're gonna need to put down a two tech repeater just like that and then you're gonna need to put down a comparator just like this you can put it longer if you want to but if you do that then you actually need to extend this like one more 
So, and before we do anything, let's make sure this will stay long enough for this comparator to stay. Okay, it stayed long enough for this comparator to uh, activate long enough. Perfect. So now, all you need to do is wire this up on all four sides just like this. You can just do this and then make sure to put some blocks on top of it. Place some redstone uh, on top. Now, once you have done this, then you're gonna need to place down a redstone torch facing just like this and then this will activate the redstone but this will not trigger basically because this has been activated but when this is saver this will be triggered and hence all the water will flow all the way down to the meter so yeah now you're gonna need to wire up the same thing on all of four sides just like that there you go i have set up and wire up all four of the module over here so now when this thing move all of them should be disabled and the water should start flowing down to the center over here and we can just about see in just a moment and one and two and three there you go a little bit of delay but there you go you can see all of them has been triggered now you could play around with the timing however you like but i generally think this is all good with the water flowing and everything so now finally on to the last step which is to wire this thing up. We need to set up a tunnel so that all of the sheep will flow all the way down here gently and come down to this area over here. And to do that, all we're gonna need to do is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then go down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and maybe 7 and 8. Just like this. So now, finger crossed, your ship should drop all the way down here. Now, I know you guys are gonna, gonna ask one thing. Hey, the ship is gonna take that much when they fall down here. Well, you're right. But this is where we're gonna need to put down any block that can prevent them from falling. Now, we got some two options. One of them is to use slime block. Now, slime block will prevent fall damage if you... If the ship drop down here, it will basically just get bounced off by the slime buff and then once they move on, then yeah, they will be safe and without taking any damage. Alternatively, it turns out there's no other alternatives. Slime block is generally the best block for this situation right now. So yeah, if you have slime block and you have, if, if you have just a little bit of slime to spare, I feel like uh, slime will help a lot. So yeah, otherwise, I don't know, maybe you could use bed. Can you use that? You could try. Anyway. Now, all you're gonna need to do is just to set up the tunnel all the way just like this. And make sure to put some guard over here. And make sure to build it high enough so that the, the ship won't able to get, uh, get out or escape. Okay, after setting up of the glass tunnel, this is how it should look like. Now, before you guys actually finish building this glass, I just want to point out that I know this is quite an excessive amount of glass resources. You're gonna need to smell out a lot of glass. But what I do recommend is you don't really have to follow me on, on this instant. You could just use some fence or wall and build just maybe too high so that uh, the ship won't able to jump out because fence usually is a lot more bigger and you can't really jump uh, over it. So just have a uh, building like, over to high fences should be good enough to prevent the ship from uh you know jump over or jump on top of it so yeah at least this will help you save up a lot of resources but for the time being this is what i'm going to use because you know just pretend myself to be rich <laughs> so last thing last before you guys remove the dirt all you're gonna need to do is to place down a sign over here to prevent the water from flowing from overflowing and go all the way down because you don't want that to happen and when you break this you should able to see the water flowing down all the way here now i do want to point out that i do you guys remember when i said that you're gonna need to uh build this out of seven block over here right one two three four five six and then seven well turns out 
how strong because if you do that then yeah because i forgot to uh, mention that this counts at one so this should be one two three four five six seven so if you place on another, another glass pot over here then the water will not flow down so yeah sorry about that uh he <laughs> I mean, it's, it's simple. You just need to fix the, the 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 tunnel, and then that's it. Everything should be fine. But yeah, anyway, let's do the rest over here. And now here you go. Now this is all fully done. Technically, it's all done. But there are some other additional feature that I want to add. And the thing is, I'm gonna build this so all you need to do is just place four string with a uh, observer and a dispenser on top of here and the reason for that is occasionally when the ship has like really fast or high velocity they can trust themselves high enough to trigger this thing they can fly so high that it will trigger this thing officially well it's quite rare but yeah this is what I mean. So now what I need to do now is to make myself a rocket. There you go. I have put down the rocket in there. So if we trigger this, then you can see there are some fire uh, happening now because I have a really bad particle uh, system enabled. So yeah, that wasn't really good. But moving on to that, I think now we are ready to move the ship in. Oh, oh, one more thing. We're gonna need to make sure all of these are prime with shields so yeah let's set that up now technically i only recommend you to put one on each cell but if you feel like you have an iron farm going i generally recommend you to put three on each one uh each one of them but otherwise if you don't have a lot of iron you can just put one on each so all of the shear has been put on each of the dispenser over here and then uh, I, and there are actually a few more things I actually forgot to mention. First thing first, you need to put down some walls on each of the corner over here, such as here, and here, and up here, on all four sides right over here. This is because when the ship gets to the corner over here, they generally don't trigger the dispenser over here. So by putting down the wall over here, the items can still go down through the uh, system over here, but the ship will get stuck here, but they will eventually just get shoved into the center over here and then get sheared. So yeah, you generally want to put down some walls on the corner. And last but not least, you also need to place down some water. So all the ship down here will get uh, shove to the center and then get launched by the elevator on the meter and then there you go this is how the farm should look like and also i'm a really forgetful person because there's one more thing we still need to do uh, why am i so forgetful the last thing you know if you guys remember we're gonna need to do something about the sorting system so we need to do something about that so let's head down there what you're gonna need to do is to take out a cave like this from here all the way to here you're gonna need to take out 16 blocks uh, y or length whatever and then you're gonna also need to take out one two three four five six seven eight eight block y across this length over here now this is going to be the space where you're gonna uh, collect all of your stuff uh, walls and you're gonna also need to set up a sorting system right over here so what you're gonna need to do is i'm gonna put down a link down in the description below on the uh, impulse sorting system over here so yeah you guys can go build it there you go the sorting system is all set up this is how it should look like you're gonna need to make sure there are 16 different uh sorting systems over here and it's because in wolves there are 16 different color of wolves now you can see that's white red orange yellow green la, 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 and yeah i'm not gonna count of them but yeah you got it i think there should be a 16 color wolves so now all you're gonna need to do is to set it up over here starting from here and then put a blocker this is going to be a blocker and then place down walls at the first slot over here and now you're gonna need to do the same thing on the rest over here as well <laughs> okay 
Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Didn't see that. You didn't see that. Did not see that. Ah, there you go. Now, all 16 hoppers with sorting system and rules are now placed down. So now you can see, this is going to be where you collect the rules and then yeah. And then that's it. And then this is the sorting system done now. You just, all you're gonna need to do is just find an entrance and way out over here. And this is perfect because look, the, the sorting system is just right over here, so now all we're gonna do is just be like a, a staircase right over here. Ah, there you go. I have that left the entrance over here, so now we have a sorting system down over here. So yeah, finally, at long last, we can add why there's a hole over here. We can add ourselves sheep down in this module over here. Now, in normal survivor, you gotta need to do all you're gonna need to do is just build up a whole bunch of ship right over here and then bring them down into the module over here. But because I'm I'm uh you know in creative, so I'm just gonna spawn down the ship down over here. Before I actually forget, let me quickly give you a little bit of guideline. So, you know, because this module is quite big, I do recommend you to put four ship one color so 60 times four then yeah you can have that amount of sheep into the thing Ross, can you put down a, a thing on the screen so i don't have to calculate the total amount of ships in there <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah i recommend you to put at least three or four types of sheep and down over here in this pen of here so yeah then at least the, sh uh, the farm would be somewhat efficient and then yeah and there you go now we have all of the sheep down here so yeah now you can see that uh, sometimes the sheep likes to go straight down into the thing as you can see this should just demonstrate that to us and then yeah uh, either way, the ship will be get pushed down into the center over here and then get launched by this thing over here. And then yeah, this is how the farm is built. I hope you guys like it. And then yeah, if you if you like so you can actually add more ship into it. You know what? That for, for the fun of experiment, I'm just gonna spawn a whole lot of ships so that you can actually see just how much fun this uh, farm is. And just Add a whole bunch of ships, yada yada yada, over here, over there, over there, da da. Why there's a lot of white ships? This is a lot of white ships. This is why you're gonna need to uh, color your ships. Because if you don't, you're gonna get a lot of white rules in the end, but yeah. There you go, look at it, look at it. The ship fountain is born look at all the sheep aren't they having so much joy right now getting shot out to the elevator and occasionally if you're lucky you might ever see see one of the ships that launch so high up and then hit the uh, the thing over here Th look it just happened Woo! it just happened look at look at that yay so yeah this is the ship farm, a really super fun and enjoyable ship farm. And this happened again. Oh my god, this ship are having a lot of fun. And occasionally, if you're lucky, you might be able to see the ship jumping around. And then, yeah. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, Ooh, another one. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, Hey, this is quite a big build. Uh, I might not have uh, a lot of resources to build this. Well, yeah, I know. I know that you're right. And the thing is, you don't actually have to build all four modules. You can all you can just build like uh two modules over here, like vertically or horizontally or L or just however you like, just however you want to design this. Or you can just build like just one small little module just like this, and that will uh, still work as well. So yeah, you don't really have to be build that big, but overall, is it efficient? No, not really. But is it fun? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean, come on. Take a look at this ship. Take a look at this ship. They're, 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 they're jumping. They're, they're, have, uh, they're having so much happiness. Just play around. They even, some of them even want to just go in there. Like, really late. Like, I want to write. I want to write this thing. I want to have some fun. And yeah. 
overall the fun value is really fun so yeah in terms of efficient it's not that great i know for, uh, that for sure because i have been uh, watching this uh, for a while now and i mean to be fair it's still producing quite some good amount of uh, rules in general and if you ever carry it long enough eventually this will slowly uh, accumulate more than enough for you to use but yeah now i know the appearance is not that good but you can literally just tackle that by just decorating and just building some uh, terrain around it or you can just uh, that build some structure around it depending on how you want to design this but yeah overall this is how the shit farm will look like uh overall so yeah i hope you guys like it i hope you guys like uh, this design and if you were to do this in your uh, minecraft series or video please do make sure to give me a shout out because i'm gonna you know this is this is the design that i built so it would be really appreciated if you actually give me a bit of shout out for this design so yeah having that said if you guys enjoyed this video and, and like it please make sure to give me a, a like and subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any suggestion or any video ideas that you want me to do next let me know down in the comment section below but yeah having that said thank you so much for watching and with that said i hope that it's a it's a good uh, my quality but having that said i'll see you guys in the next videos and yeah see ya goodbye enjoy the ship Yo. Yeah.